I'm writing a ticket right now for parking at a handicap meter is the most expensive ticket. Hold on, hold on, we're about to move, we're about to move it. We're about to move it. Hey, D! Let's go. We're about to get Count you, baby. Three. One, two. Three. Right. Okay. You know, I hesitated with this ticket. Yeah. This is a handicap. No, no. Move it, all right? Are you right? Please move it. I saved it. I saved it, brother, from getting a $301 ticket. Luckily, I got good friends. My name is Eli, and I'm from Israel, and I bought the car to travel in the States. The cops just stopped me on the side, and then they asked me for the driver license. I have my Israeli driver license and my passport. They told me it's not good, uh, we need to tow your car. They left me on the stand on the road. I told them I'm a tourist, I don't have where to go. Yeah. He had his license and everything. I listened to him in court. He's legal. I'm teed off. He asked the judge, well, why'd y'all do this to me? I have all my stuff. He's like, the judge was like, well, sometimes the officer don't know the law. This is your no job. That's not fair. Yeah, now I need to pay 75 for the judge and here almost 200. Uh, and for nothing. Can I open Registration, insurance, driver's license, and... What do you need? Registration, Oh, it's in my car. Here you go. You take it over to the blue booth right there. Okay. Someone will walk you to your vehicle. Okay. Uh, I don't even know where I need to go, man. In the state of Pennsylvania, you're required to drive with registration, insurance, and a valid driver's license. Ah, I'm going to bring my car back. Get your paperwork and make sure it's up to date and take it back on the inside so they can check it and release your car. Oh, I did not drive. Get it out of the car. That's what they sent you back. What's that? They sent you out here so you could get your paperwork. It's here. It's not in my car. Is the registration? It's not released, is it? No, sir. You need your registration and your insurance out of your car. Okay, right? I understand. So you could take it back inside and get released. Do you have to go to traffic no. court first? No, I've been to the traffic court already. Okay. Driver's license, please. Mm. You have somebody with an American license? No. Uh-oh. You're going to need somebody with an American license. Why? If you own a car, you're required by law to have our license. If you want, you can ask somebody out there if they want to drive the vehicle off. And if not, you're going to have to have somebody with a license come back with you. Then you want to ask me to, to take the car and need someone with an uh, American driver's license. Wow. He bought the car in January. So he's required by law to get a license for whatever state he's living in. What do you mean? Somebody with an American driver's license to get his car. Yeah, I got an American driver's license. I'll help you. OK, thank you. Yeah. We need somebody to come back, because if he gets somebody to drive it off from there, when he gets out of here, he don't have a driver's license. He needs a licensed driver to come back here with him to get okay, the car out. that's good. I'm the police officer telling me you're going to have to come back with somebody with a license. Can somebody here do it? Uh, that's what I was suggesting, but he's going to have to come back with somebody with a license. Oh. OK? Well, it's unacceptable. Fine. The police officer just informed me you need to come back with someone with a valid state license to drive your vehicle home. Can I get that key back also, please? Can I speak to the police officer? Sure. Angie, tell me I would like to talk to you. Hi, how are you? Let me explain something to you. Once the vehicle's registered to you, you have 30 days to get a Pennsylvania driver's license. I'm gonna get a Pennsylvania driver's license if I don't have social security, I don't, I don't, only tourist. What I'm telling you is, the car's registered to you, you need a Pennsylvania driver's license to operate that vehicle legally. I just been in the court right now. I showed the judge, the judge, judge, the judge, you know the rule, you know? He told me you can continue drive with this driver's license. The judge. 
What I'm telling you is your driver's license is not recognized here. Therefore, you need somebody with a driver's license from any one of the 51 states to come here and get your car out of impound. Nobody here, you need somebody that's gonna drive your car at home. This is totally absurd. As far as I'm concerned, he needs to bring back someone that has a valid driver's license to have the car released. They trying to give him the run around, you know. I'm ready for my first customer of the day. Well, you have Israeli driver license, so I have my buddy who's gonna. Oh, he's gonna drive it off. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you have something with your name on it in English? In English, the other side. Oh. Other side. Okay. Did you just buy this car? What? Yeah. Did you just? Yeah, you, know, you should get an American license. What do we got, T? He doesn't have an American license, and he just asked him if he could drive his car okay. out for him. How long you been here? How long I been here? Uh, this whole life. life. No, you were informed to bring somebody back with you. Yeah, yeah, he gonna take yeah, him back home. Yeah, he did, he brought him. He Angie, brought him. same guy. <laughs> Sir, this is not gonna work. He gonna drive my car I don't home. believe it, I'm sorry. I don't believe he's gonna drive your car all the way home. Somebody you just met in this spot. No disrespect. Hey, you really about the gate is out your hands. You're gonna have to come back with somebody, sir. Hey, what that's are your how you know. That's no, how you I'm sorry. No. All right, that's disrespectful. I ain't gonna show no. him no love. No love. Let me I'm get sorry. my license. No, no love. love. You a real cop. Right. I'm not sure who he was. He was probably somebody in the lobby or somebody that's getting his car released. It's a little far fetched for me to believe that that gentleman's gonna drive his car all the way home. They giving him a runaround. All he needed was a licensed driver. I'm the licensed driver. He was gonna give me some bread for helping him out. I'm just trying to do a little hustle, you feel me? But they ain't trying to help me out. They ain't trying to help him out. So we gotta be out, you dig? You can't keep track of everyone, but in this case, it was obvious that he just found him outside. Good luck, all right, man? Take care. I'm just not gonna let the car get out of here like that. Don't know the words in English to explain you what I feel. <laughs> Yeah, I have everything. I came to get my car. He's back. He looks like he got somebody to drive the car out. Yeah, I'm his friend. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's a good friend. All right, well, we got a problem here. And who wrote on this? What? By them writing on this, it made the paperwork invalid. Let me explain. I gave the, this paper. But just listen to me, just listen to me. Wherever you got this done at, call them and have them fax one of these over here to us. What's that? So you have to call and have it faxed to us. When I came here before, you told me everything is okay, your registration is okay. I didn't tell you anything. No, you, not you. The other lady, you can bring her. Well, she's not here. I'm waiting on you now, and I'm telling you what you need. But she's here, I saw her. I'm waiting on you now, and I'm telling you what you need to get your vehicle released. That's the fax number. That's the fax number. Somebody wrote an in ink on his temporary registration, so it made it invalid. So once he get that fax, he's out of here. Yeah, yeah, if you have the copy, just fax it. Okay, so it should be five minutes, yeah? Okay, thank you. about two o'clock since we told him he had to have it fast. So, and it hasn't came over yet. Oh, something in the facts. Could it be? It's him, yep. He's about to be released. Where's your driver? Oh, Kobe. You take this over to the gate and someone will walk you to the vehicle. You're out of here. This is so ridiculous. If you tourist here, don't take a car and drive because any cop can stop you and tell you your license is not good. I feel bad for them. Like, what if we were over in Israel and Sorry. we were driving and they didn't accept our license? I'm free! <laughs> hey, watch out for that guy over there with the focus. He kind of off the wall. Okay. 
Lightning said, be aware, he's hot. I hope the owner gets a chance to make it down to the payment center before I get there with the tow truck. I'm giving the citizen a little grace period. We got some other vehicles we got to release. Going back down to that focus. They booted this car at 128, and it's 328, so he had a couple hours. I hope he's nowhere around. I don't want to be bothered. The tow truck is here. Until they call me on the radio and tell me anything different, I have to proceed with the tow. Owner of the vehicle, he's standing at the cashier. Hi, sir. I can't do anything until my dispatch call me. So your ca the cashier has to contact them. I understand that what you're saying, but you could have paid tickets before we even came and booted the car. Here's the phone back. Slow down. They only can take it until you pop that boot. Once the tow truck is here, I have to take that boot off. Everybody knows the situation. As soon as she pops this, she takes it. Can you please check in? My radio's right here on my hip, case they call me. And that's what I was explaining to them on the phone. We don't need people to come take people's cars that are honest working people. You have a horrible job, it sucks. The people put themselves in this predicament. We didn't secure these tickets. No. Cut this guy a break. Until they tell me to stop, I cannot stop. He didn't make it. This is really inhumane. It's a shame. I gave the guy a couple grace periods earlier. He got down there a little too late. It needs to be a little bit more peace and love. This is not part of the solution. I understand you're concerned about your friend, but your friend is doing the right thing, taking care of his fines and penalties, and hopefully he don't see us again. My ex-girlfriend took my car out last night. <laughs> Turns out she didn't have her driver's license on her, so they towed the vehicle. It's been a nightmare, let me tell you. Why well, I'm wondering what's going on here. Is anybody in there? I got pulled over by the cops last night for driving um, carelessly. I tried to put on my innocent face, and he didn't guys. arrest me, so. <laughs> She's a blonde. You got to say more? This is Vince. This is my best friend and lover. On and off. It's between the two of us, me and the guy inside. Vince is a friend of hers that she called last night because uh, I knew that I was going to need a lot of money to get my car out. Yeah, I took her to traffic court, paid 720 up there. My best friend in the world here. Can't believe I, he did it for me. Come down here to the in-pan lot, paid another 160. $900 for a car that I was just going to get rid of in a week. She's a blonde. Does that explain it? <laughs> <laughs> How many boyfriends does she have? Well, if I could count them on my one hand, I'd be happy. We met in a strip club seven years ago. Yeah. She was a dancer. He always came back and saw me. I went back, got a lap dance, and went from there, you know? It was all professional. It was. It was. Very professional. I met Michelle in my basement, locked down in my basement. Huh? <laughs> Somebody left her in my house, in the basement, without a ride home. There's never a dull memory. <laughs> I'm standing here waiting. What's going on? Nothing. It's actually purgatory because nothing's going on. Hell, at least they're being tortured. Not being tortured yet. Hello. Hi. Ooh, okay. You have your traffic court release paper? Am I supposed to give you that? Yes. And where do I get back? Hopefully your car. Hopefully. Hopefully your car. Hey, she smiled. I have to make copies. The whole reason why she got pulled over in the first place, she was seeing one of my friends. Wow. I was leaving there, and I got caught. Booty call. <laughs> Very expensive booty call. We all pay for our sins. <laughs> Was it worth it? I don't know, ask her. It sucks because it's my fault. You know, it's all my fault. Jeez. I need your license, registration, insurance. My what? I just gave all that. Oh, man. Not to me. Oh, this is turning out great. 
get in it. Now I have to find my insurance card again. Now it's turning into hell. For a minute. My insurance card. There's one in the car. I'm gonna send you out there for it. You can take that over there to that brand booth and someone to take you over to your car. Let's hope he has his up-to-date insurance card in the vehicle. And he on his way. The gates of heaven have opened. <laughs> or maybe they're the gates of hell. Alright. Yes! Oh wait, it's to my other car. You got to be kidding me. There. Um Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. This expired 519. Guess what? It's expired 10 days. I have to get insurance again on a car I was going to get rid of this week. Oh, it is hell. Absolute hell. Hey, Ron, we got to get you up to get her to Yeah, yeah. I got a doctor's appointment in Delaware, so. OK, what did you find out? I have to go home and get you my other one, because this one is expired. Don't leave. Just call and get a fax she over. She has to get to the doctor's. I need to get her to the doctor right away because she has an appointment, so I'm gonna have to. I can't wait. Bring everything back, okay? All right. I just feel really bad. <laughs> you know, I do. I feel bad. All he had to do was just get it faxed over. I really don't know whether or not he's gonna be back or not. He's gonna have to go buy insurance and then come back here. What did that happen to the good old days when you got your car towed? You go down, pay a hundred dollars, and get it out. All right, it's time to go. What happened to them days? Two X's in one car is one too many. And that's a fact. Wow. It's been a day, dude. Here's Long it. day. It's not over yet. Michelle is at the, oh, she went to the doctor. She had a doctor's appointment, which she missed. And she had to pay an extra $150 because she missed the appointment. Now she has to go Friday. Do you have insurance on you? <laughs> Give me a fax number, and I'll have it faxed. Now I have to find my insurance card again. Oh, wow, what happened there? Let's try this one again. 210. The call must go through. I believe this gentleman is going to get his car out here today. Oh, don't put me on hold. Currently not available. Hopefully with a smile on his face. They hung up on me. Third try. Let's see if we can get this. Danya, thank you. You're my lord and savior. OK, here's a fax number. Please, let there be a god. Uh, his son came over. It came quick. And I'm uh, for him, um, Mr. Rhino, the good news. This is release for him. Take him to the gate, and we'll walk into the car. <laughs> this has been agonizing, it's been grueling, it's been horrendous. Michelle, get your own damn car when you're ready to drive. <laughs> and if you got to run on a booty call, have him pick you up. Don't run to him. Oh, Those are my shoes already. Look at that. There's a cracking already. I'm gonna give you one of them and walk an odometer, see how many steps you're taking a day. Whew. Brian's fun. Brian's my friend. We get along good. <laughs> Today's my birthday, and I'm gonna give everybody a break. <laughs> oh, here comes the chariot. It's time, fellas. Brian's gonna have a good day tonight. I always have a good day. He always has fun out there. <laughs> nice warm day. The chickies will be naked. Oh, yeah. Good day. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, let's have a safe one. Hey, Laura, have a good day, dear. Happy birthday. Do I get a smooch? Yeah, baby. First time you kissed a white girl. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Got boots and leather like birds of feather, you know. We belong together. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let me wake up. I have 15 packets of sugar in my coffee, and it's perfect. <laughs> I already drank a pot of coffee this morning. This is about a pot and a half of coffee. <laughs> OK. I believe I drink more coffee than Lori. Yeah, when it comes to coffee, I'm a common sewer. Believe me. Hey, guys. Hey, Brian. What's going on? Ah, uh, same old stuff. Hey, I have a question. Is it bad to park in front of those yellow poles? No. Yeah, she tells me where to park and where not to park. See you, guys. Brian's just a funny guy. Keeps you laughing. Now it's time to wreak havoc upon our uh, fine city. He treats this job like a joke, like it is. <laughs> hey, the Philadelphia Pigeon Authority. He knows me better than anybody else. We've been friends for five years, and uh, she's a psychotic, which is a good thing. <laughs>